Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a new year. It's 2017. My name is Colette. I am filming on my phone. So I just refuse to do the whole setup thingy. You know, I'm just whatever. Y'all know I'm not in this for the whole YouTube hype. Y'all know I'm from a different school. Yeah, so y'all should know this by now. So I'm going to do me the way I do me. If you like what you see here, then you're welcome to stay and keep watching. However, if you don't, sayonara, stage left. All right? Now, I have a few things to talk about. But I did want to really focus this video on one thing and it's a product that I purchased a few months ago sometime last year in 2016 it was a hype it was the hype one of the hyped products of 2016 I kid you not and myself and most of us on YouTube land we wanted to get in there and get it because it was a collab by another youtuber and Tarte Cosmetics so without further ado I'm gonna show you the palette I'm talking about some of y'all might not like this video but I don't really give a damn okay so here goes I use this palette this is the graveyard girl palette I love the packaging I like the alligator with wings I pretty much like the palette aesthetically now, excuse my two broken nails whatever but I like it so far visually aesthetically it's pleasing um, it's a cardboard feel the golden trim beautiful when you open the palette there is a quote here and a nice big mirror and you get a brush with the palette someone is texting me and I'm not going to answer right now but you do get a brush with the palette that looks like this. It's just a shade of brush to apply your eyeshadow and some beautiful colors in the palette. See that? Um, this is reminiscent of Tarte's palettes lately. This golden shiny thing. Oh, it's pretty. Now, there are some great colors in the palette. However, nicely pigmented. But I find fault with this palette. Reason being, sippy sippy, nice idea. We can see it has those golden sparkles in it. It's just very pretty. But let me tell you something, Fallout Central, hello. Earth to Fallout Central. I thought this was back in the day, Urban Decay nonsense when urban decay was making those shadows that had this ton of glitter fallout now when you swatch it on your finger like this beautiful it picks up but i don't apply my eyeshadow with my finger like this and i don't so needless to say picking up on the brush swatching like this yeah but if i do this i don't know y'all probably can't see but glitter just flew all over the place okay you can see there's less glitter i don't know if you can tell that there is less glitter than what my finger initially picked up the color itself is very very pigmented it's a vibrant br chocolate brown color nice but baby no bueno i tried to put it on this morning using this lit cosmetics glitter glue and picked it up on a brush like this you can see residue on it this thing went on my eye just look wet and like looking like wet dark chocolate that's what it looked like did any of the glitter hold no no it didn't hold I had glitter all up in through here and over there and so this was me this morning struggling with this brush with some powder to kind of sweep all this away I didn't even get to do my foundation and yeah foundation would have covered up most of the glitter and stuff but I dared not try it anywho that's like the biggest one of the biggest disappointments I find with this palette and I spent my own damn coin for it I bought it with my own hard-earned money 
So, hear me when I tell you. No. When I saw that they brought this back, I was like, yeah, y'all can leave it there. And, you know, I went away for the weekend to Orlando, was in Disney, and I brought it with me. And I really didn't use it much. And the two colors that I have used that I'm pleased with is this one here and this one here. Um, the blushes are okay, but this highlight is the same thing. You can see how much kick, kick up, kick back, and all that. I used this Morphe 501 brush to pick it up. It does come up, but it's powdery and watch that it just left big chunks of glitter all through here and here it was just dusty and no nah. this is my favorite highlighting brush it picks up most products as you can see it picks up very very well but this look at that that is all I got I know you guys can see that you can see stuff falling Hello, that was what I had on my face. Ooh, all through in there. So I do have a problem with the highlighter not being smooth and blendable, but chunky and glittery. Not a good look, not a good feel. Um, the eyeshadow, that one there, it just totally killed the palette. Um, which is this one? Dog Man is the nice burnt orange one. But as you can see, it has deposits of glitter from the rest of the palette. This is Dogman on my ring finger right here. You can see the glitter from other stuff in it. And so it just detracts from that color that Dogman really is actually. And no. I think this was a waste of money. And if I'd seen a review that mentioned all of this fallout and the dustiness of the highlighter, I would have said hell to the no, and I would have passed it and kept my money. I think I would have fared better if I'd actually received the lippies because I thought maybe the lipsticks would have been great to have as well, but I didn't get those. Tough titty paws, moving along. So yeah. Um, no no i did it to support you know bunny and her thing but i think tart could have done a way better job with sippy sippy and um gator what's this what's the highlighter called gator wings they could have done a much better job with those two things in the palette everything else is meh it's okay um nothing to squeal about really if you're an avid makeup collector makeup owner makeup enthusiast if you want to buy it just to support her fine be at it have at it but if you're gonna buy it because you're new to makeup and you think oh this is no no all right that's it I'm done with this I'm gonna stick it in the drawer and I I assume that I will pull it out at some point to use something from it, but not those two colors that I talked about because those two kill this palette for me. So that's my honest review. That's how I feel about the palette. It was a waste of money and I didn't need to buy this, but I bought it. So whatever. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Bye.